How's it going viewers? Thank you guys for watching this video. In this video I'll be taking a look at the Evo Tactical Case from Tech21 for the Samsung Galaxy S8. And before I get started I'd just like to take a quick second and thank Tech21 for giving me this opportunity to review their product. Thank you guys, I do appreciate it. If you guys would be interested in this product I will have a link in the description below so you guys can go ahead and check that out. So I would like to start off by taking a look at the case, the packaging that it does come in, Tech 21, right up here at the top. Uh, it says Evo Tactical, 3 meter, 10 foot drop, 3 layer protection, uh, patented flex shock impact protection, ultra thin, lightweight, uh, designed for the Samsung Galaxy S8. Uh, that's kind of what's on the packaging so far on the back. It talks about Evo Tactical rugged protection, refined. The one being flex shock protects from drops. Two is the durable tactile feel. And three, the comfortable access to ports and functions. So we'll be checking some of those out. And this case does open up somewhat like a book. Opens up like this and it talks about a few more of the feature that are on the case. Uh, the first one again, the flex shock, skeletal frame, and the flexible outer shell. So, and then just a drop protection explained, just a little bit of tidbits of reading information. This here does slide out, and underneath we have the case. And we've got a little bit of possibly paperwork. A little bit of paperwork. You guys could check that out if you wish. So let's go ahead and take a closer look at the phone case. So here we go. There is our case. Uh, the material that it's made out of is a type of silicone. Uh, does feel like it. It's got a nice bendable inside. You can uh, push it in, out, so it does move a little bit. But the edges are a bit more rigid. They're a little harder to, to bend to move. It does bend in a few spots. But other than that, it seems to be fairly rigid. So it does have that internal skeletal uh, frame. As you guys can see, that there are ribs going down the edge of the uh, case there. So that is pretty nice. So let's just go ahead and install the phone and take a look at the openings. And like always, I like to install my phone with the side with the button, has the most buttons going in first. So I'm just going to go ahead and lay that down and get them kind of up to the corners. And once you're at this point, I will push forward and press down simultaneously. And just like that, it popped right into place. So now I'm just going to go ahead and see if the phone slides at all. Um, I don't see it moving in the case, so it's got a nice snug fit. And I'm just going to go ahead and start off over here on the left side of the case. Uh, we do have the three buttons, and they are buttons that transfer over. So they're actual buttons on the case as well. They do click, and as you can see, they do stick out just a little bit past the edge of the phone. That is kind of nice for accessibility. So that is nice to have the buttons stick out over the edge like that. And as we move down around the corner, we will get down to the bottom side, where we have three large openings, one for the headphone jack, one for the charging port, and one for the microphone and speakers. So there we have it, three large openings. Uh, it's nice to have the bigger openings for one reason, is if you have third party chargers or, or headphones, anything like that, they will fit in without giving you issues. Uh, so those are there. Moving on down, we have the side here with the power button. And this power, power button is very similar to the buttons on the other side. And as you guys can see, there's no texture. It's nice and slick. They do does stick out just a tad past the edge of the phone for that easy accessibility. So that is nice. And moving up here at the top, we will see that there is an opening for one of the sensors here up at the top. That's nice. And moving down the back, we will see the design. It is, it's got more of a smooth design here in the middle. And then on the edges, it's got a bit of a grip. It does have a little bit of a texture to it. Um, we can see that there is an opening here for our... Uh, lights, sensors, camera, and then a fingerprint sens sensor. And that is nice and open, and I do like it because the sensor is actually accessible. It's the, the case is thin enough to where you can get your finger right on it without having any issues. So that is pretty nice. Right down here, we do have a little emblem, a little logo, Tech 21. So that is pretty cool. I'm going to go ahead and flip this over to the other side. And as you guys can see, that there is a little bit of two bumpers here at the top and the bottom. If you were to drop your phone on its face and slide it around, it will not be scratching your screen unless you have an object that is sticking out past whatever your phone case is resting on. There are a little bit of uh, exposures here on the edge. Um, 
just so if you're using any features that come off the edge of the phone, you're able to access them. So that is pretty nice as well. So there you guys go. This is a nice medium to on the slim side case for anybody that would be is more of like a minimalist like the smaller cases this is kind of in between a medium and a small in my opinion so overall it's a pretty nice case it does have nice features and that is all i got for you guys in this one if you guys did like this case and you guys would like to check it out i will have that link in the description so check that out there if you guys have any comments questions or concerns anything you guys would like to say to me any way i can improve my videos my channel please let me know i'm welcome to hearing it that's all i got for you guys thanks for watching have a nice day.